Let's make some pine tar soap and see how many times I can say this smells good in this video. All right, <clears throat> we're trying pine tar soap today and I have primarily hard oils. So I was reading that you wanna have a lot of oils that have stearic acid in them so you create a hard bar versus the softer oils or even some of the other regular oils create really soft bars so i have 95 percent hard oils in here i have my pine tar sitting here and my lye solution but my oils are at 95 degrees and they're starting to, well, 94 now, but they're going to start solidifying again. So I'm just going to head, go ahead and go for it and pray for the best. I won't lie, I'm a little nervous. You read such interesting reviews about it. That is not a 63 degrees, come on. Say my lye solution's at 63 degrees. It's not. I just did a reading and it was like 100 degrees. So we're going to put it in here. We're going to whisk to either just emulsion or light trace. And then we'll add the pine tar and whisk that in real quick. And then stick it in a mold. Hopefully it will stay fairly fluid so we shall see I'll bring it back after I bring it to emulsion all right we are at a very thin trace or right at emulsion Sometimes it's hard to tell. I don't want to get it too thick because that pine tar is going to thicken it up fast. I've watched videos where it thickened up really, really, really fast. And other videos where it didn't. So it looks like we're at emulsion. We're a very super, super thin trace, so... I'm going to go ahead and take the plunge, add the pine tar, see what it does, and pray for the best. Um, I probably don't need this many spatulas, so let me get this one out because I'm going to use the pine tar one. Just get all the pine tar in there. And I warmed the pine tar up a smidgen. Let me get my mold over here just to be on the safe side. I have an extra mold in case I have overflow. But I warmed the pine tar up just a little bit so you can see it's a... Let me move this. It's a little more fluid than the thick, viscous stuff it was. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers. I don't want to ploppy ploppy it in my mold. So cross your fingers, it doesn't accelerate too fast. And I like the smell of this. There are people that think it smells really bad. It smells very piney. There, there is some, of course, tar, tar smell because it has pine tar, but it's actually not that bad. I expected more funk, more of a smelly smell. Stir, stir, stir. all mixed in there. I don't want any chunks everywhere. 
And it's speeding up a little bit. Not bad. Not enough for me to freak out yet. You can definitely feel it getting thick though. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. Move some of these. Maybe we can get some of these bubbles out. Ooh, it's definitely heating up though. Stir it around a little bit more just to make sure we're incorporated. Yeah, it's definitely a medium trace now, medium to thick trace. So it gets thick. It gets thick fast. Looks like chocolate. Don't think I've been eating it, but. I can see little chunks of pine tar at the bottom. Not chunks. It doesn't really chunk up. It, um, let's see if I can stir that in a little bit. It, um, it's like when you do swirls. That's what it reminds me of. It's when you just have extra swirls everywhere. And I think it smells good. It's, it's, you hear bad things about it when you're making the soap itself because not everything smells good going through saponification, but it doesn't smell bad. It's very piney, very piney, but you gotta remember I'm in the Pacific Northwest, so I was raised around pine trees. So this is not a new smell for me. This is actually very common just walking out my front door to smell this it's very outdoorsy very woodsy and it's unisex it's not really a guy gal smell it's anybody's smell actually that wasn't too bad wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be thank goodness all right, now let's see if we can tap some of those bubbles out. It's the only drawback to whisking is it always gives you a ton of bubbles. So let's see if we can get some of those out. Bring them all to the surface. So some of the reasons why I chose to do a pine tar soap is all the beneficial things that I've read about it. This is not medical advice. Please see your doctor for any of that. But I've read that it helps with eczema, psoriasis, itchiness, it's an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal, and astringent. It helps pr promote keratin layers, and it's just an all-around really good soap for those with skin issues. That's what I call it. I have eczema. I have skin issues. My skin is super sensitive, tends to be dry, it's just not a happy skin. So, it's one of the reasons why I started making soap and before that why I bought Artisan Made Soap. Um, I also have a really good friend who has psoriasis. I have another friend who's allergic to soap. And so, it's fun trying new things to just see how it works. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe and until next time you guys have a great day.